Talibina, where militants have occupied major oil terminals following clashes with armed forces in the eastern part of the country. Military officials fear the facilities could sustain serious damage if the clashes escalate. The militias, known as the Benghazi Defense Brigades, are comprised of Islamic militants and former rebels. They were joined by militiamen from the western city of Misrata. Army officials say that their forces made the decision to retreat to avoid destruction of the oil facilities. Libya has descended into chaos since the 20th 11 civil war. The enemy used armored vehicles. They breached the first defensive line this morning at approximately 6 GMT in a very fast way towards the direction of the Sidra port. The security forces at the port made a quick withdrawal. Now the forces at Raslanuf were reinforced with very large additional forces from some military locations, especially from Benghazi and Jabal el Akdar. The reason for this reinforcement is neither for the purpose of liberation nor cleansing, but for the purpose of crushing these groups. Let's get more from Adel Mahroui, who joins us live from Cairo. Adel, how is the situation now? Are the militia still in control of the oil ports? Well, it seems that um, so far um, the struggle has not been over, uh, but we know that the most of the control uh, or um, the Libyan National Army forces have been pushed uh, back. Uh, we're talking about two main areas of um, confrontation at the Sidr and Ras uh, uh, which are two of the biggest um, oil uh, wells in, 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 in Libya, generally in the crescent, uh, oil crescent region uh, in Libya. Uh, now, this uh, has, uh, the, the, the main question is actually not about um, who has the ground now, but it's basically who will sustain um, to keep control over um, these oil fields for a long time, which um, General Khalif Haftar's, uh, the Libyan National Army, has been uh, maintaining control for uh, quite a long time, longer than the usual in the entire Libyan conflict since last year, and um, the oil production has been doubled at that time. Now, the National Oil Corporation is trying to push oil production to 1.2 million barrels per day by later this year. What are some of the measures they're looking at to achieve this? Yeah. Well, uh, first of all, just let me give you a quick overlook about Libya's oil production. Um, last um, February, the oil, um, uh, the production was about 700,000 bar barrels, from 600 to 700,000. And that, is, uh, that number is double what uh, Libya used to produce in the previous year. So to reach 1.2 million, that's nearly double the current production, um, they need, first of all, to maintain security in the oil field to guarantee that the production would never be interrupted and the second part which is the most crucial is to repair the damage that happened uh, in some oil uh, fields it's a partial damage and others is a complete damage so that this damage must be repaired so that Libya's oil production would go back to that number uh, and reaching 1.2 million barrels it will not happen easily and at the same time if it happens that's not what Libya is capable of the record for Libya's oil production is about 1.6 million uh, barrels so there is still a long way ahead but with the current um, attack that we're seeing right now we're expecting that um, Libya's production will become below than the range of the 600 and 700 thousand barrels because um, a Sidr for example or Ras Lanouf um, their production if at full capacity um, could cover up all this amount, the 600,000 barrels. So it is a quiet hit. These are two of the biggest, and therefore the production might not see the plans of the national oil company in Libya of 1.2 anytime soon. All right, Adil Mahroui in Cairo, thank you for joining us.